let's switch to English now and uh, talk about uh, how sustainability, innovation and print technology come together. Felix Müller is my guest today from the Heidelberg Web Carton Converting. Please take the mic to, and we can understand everything. Absolutely. Nice to have you here. Yeah, nice that I can be here. Thank you very much. Uh, you, you live for a long time in the US. I lived for six and a half years in the US, yes, until 23. And I was heading there, uh, the Heidelberg operation in Canada, US, and in Mexico. Yeah, wow. And of course, uh, more than 50% of, of our sales volume was in packaging. Yeah. So, and uh, I think everybody understands that uh, packaging is a powerhouse in the US. Yeah, it's really, and, and the German market is very popular there, the, the packaging market? I would say the Americans always have a, a, an eye on what's happening in Europe yeah. uh, because of all the regulations which are coming over from Europe finally to the US. And please understand that or what is also very uh, important, all these big converters uh, like Graphic Packaging International, Maya Mellenhoff, they have sites on both sides of the of the pond, yeah, what they yeah, say, right? Course. How do you introduce yourself to the international clients? It's Felix Muller or Felix Müller? Oh, that's an interesting thing. I personally always say Felix Müller. Felix, okay. Uh, Felix yes. Müller, so yeah. I always say, come on, just call me Felix, that's uh, much easier. Yeah, and it sounds like luck, like always, always being lucky. So you are uh, managing the Flexo division of Heidelberg. What uh, exactly uh, does your team do at the uh, carton converting? So we are designing, um, we are producing um, packaging machines for the uh, converting industry. Um, we are uh, predominantly do that uh, with a Flexo technology and we do that, uh, we call it wide web. So we do it from 850 millimeters width up to 1650 millimeters width. Yeah. Now we're here at the Fachpark, uh, it's, it's uh, fully packed with innovations. Absolutely. Of course, you have innovations too. Yes. Which? <laughs> so our innovation um, is the Boardmaster itself. Um, yeah. So a new generation of Flexo machines, which um, have a significant higher productivity than our competitors. Um, to yeah, dwell a little bit on that, um, we are reducing heavily the make-ready time. Uh, you normally have 40-50% of make-ready time and we can offer our customers uh, full automatic uh, non-stop production, meaning we eliminate that uh, time in between make-ready time so we can switch from one job hmm. to the other during run. Of course, sustainable packaging is the uh, most uh, important topic yep. at Fachpark and the whole market. Um, uh, what are the most exciting innovations you are seeing in point of sustainable packaging, especially in your field? So first of all, I would say that fiber-based packaging is getting um, stronger and stronger based um, on developments or based on end customer requests, but also based on regulations. And that means you need also to have the machines which can produce these fiber-based uh, packagings together with functional coatings. So the innovation is high productive machines in combination with functional coatings which are applied in line, which are dried and where the customer has in the end the security, okay, that works. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you're, you're right to be here or in, in the trend of, of fiber-based packaging. So everybody needs uh, machines from Heidelberg. I would say so in <laughs> yeah. the end because um, it's not that we are just providing the technology itself, we are also advising together with our uh, partner here Solanis um, that we offer a solution. Yeah. We are not just offer technology, we are offering a solution where uh, our customers know it works. Yeah, uh, but are customers already ready to, to switch for more sustainable fiber-based alternatives? What's that's, your impression? Very that's a very interesting question. It depends on which customer, our direct customer or the end customer. So first of all, when I look at the end customer, like you and me, we want uh, to use yeah. much more we sustainable... We are looking for these products we in are the looking supermarket. For these. Of, yeah. um, I think the way I see it is the industry, the converting industry, 
is highly interested in particular the fiber-based industry in uh, increasing their volumes but of course um, they have to align with their customers sometimes the brand owners um, the ones who are finally uh, delivering the product so everybody wants to have a more sustainable production and product but it takes a little bit longer to realize that it will not happen within 24 hours yeah, yeah. There's one word we, we hear very often, it's pepperization. Yes. Um, maybe you can explain what that means and uh, what role does uh, pepperization play in your strategy? Pepperization, in the end, um, we yeah, indirectly mentioned it already. So um, it uh, definitely concerns the, um, uh, the trend of replacing plastic uh, through fiber-based packaging or through fiber-based materials. Um, as in the end the fiber-based packaging is considered to be much more favorable to the circular economy. The, say, the importance it plays for Heidelberg in general is very high. Our supervisory board, I'm starting not with a board, with a supervisory board, <laughs> has given the board the target to push in the company the development of machines which favor, which help to develop that paperization in the industry and that in the uh, direct line goes directly to our company Heidelberg Webcarton Converting we I think can help the industry to really do that transition. Hmm. When you want to use a fiber-based packaging uh, especially for, for food packaging of course you need barriers, inline barriers, Absolutely. something like that. Do you have solutions for, for uh, this, this uh, packaging? We have solutions um, and um, it's interesting, we are also gaining a lot of, um, I would say, knowledge in the meantime. Um, you need, for the food service uh, industry or for the food industry, you need these barrier coatings, grease barriers, oxygen barriers, uh, water barriers. And what we see is, um, it's not that one thick layer of coating is the best development. Yeah. You better may apply two thinner layers in order to um, close pinholes. Just to give an idea what we are talking about. It's also, and by the way, the PPWR, the uh, Packaging Packaging Waste yeah. Reduction... Uh, the four evil letters. Exactly, four <laughs> important letters. It's not that they tell you just use coatings and everything is good. No, you also should reduce the volume of coating you're using. So you also have here certain regulations. Yeah. Uh, you already talked about your boardmaster machine. When you see it, we, we had it in our magazine and online. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it sounds, it looks like a powerhouse. So uh, what makes the, the system so, so special for, for packaging producers? It is a powerhouse, uh, <laughs> definitely. And um, we can prove that already where we have installed it. And we have in the meantime quite a number of installations in a, in a short time. I just want to highlight again, it is the elimination of the make ready time. Mm -hmm. You uh, can really switch from one job to the other without stopping the machine. Plus, we have, um, I think, uh, absolute new innovation where we are uh, scanning the flexo plates and transfer the data um, into presetting data for the machine. So we take also the factor, the human factor, out of the equation and optimize certain processes. Yeah. Also that helps to increase efficiency of the machine and therefore it's definitely fair to say it's an absolute powerhouse in producing packaging. Okay, and we can uh, take a look here at the Fachpack, of <laughs> course. Um, when we, we already said uh, the, the time is right now for fiber-based packaging and we see it uh, at the Fachpark in, yeah. in every, every hall. So it's the right time for, for Heidelberg and, and for your solutions. Uh, where do you see the biggest opportunities for your technologies in the next two, three, four, five years? I think the opportunities are worldwide. I mean, if you look at it from a geographical point of view, uh, there in, the, in North America, there in Europe, there in Asia. Uh, the Flexo technology itself and our technology um, is well known in North America. We have in Europe, of course, a very strong offset approach to packaging, but also here the uh, Flexo approach is looked at 
and more and more converters are looking and are interested in that flexo technology. The same applies also to Asia where we see a tendency away from gravure printing towards flexo printing. It will take time, you said it, three to five years, but the opportunities in Europe, in Asia are growing and as I said, US is already a flexo uh, country or a mixed country, offset and flexo. Yeah, yeah interesting. And you have to start now when you be yeah, at the top in three or four, four or five years. Yes. Of course. So you already said it, but, but to make it clear uh, once again, how is your company helping uh, brand owners uh, meet sustainability goals? What can you do for them? So we are open in particular in Weiden. We have a test machine. Um, that's what we not have had in the past. We have a test machine where also customers can really, even brand owners can come, and that's happening and test um, coatings, barrier coatings on certain substrates, on certain fiber-based uh, substrates. So there is a growing demand in testing. So it's not only that we are just in the market in selling, we are also offering um, test possibilities, um, test capabilities. We learn, our customers learn. So that's the reason why I say um, we are offering applications, we are offering systems which work. Yeah, yeah, and uh, uh, you, you have the, the, we say Beratung in German, sorry, the English word. Cons uh. <laughs> so you, you do the consulting. Consulting, yeah, advisory, the total consulting. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. I would say um, also the brand owners have already a certain knowledge. Yeah. Um, but on the other side, um, to discuss what is possible from a machine side, what is sometimes, I would say, Ne almost neglected is we are always talking about applying coding. I would say the biggest challenge is of course on the one side to transfer the right, right amount of coding but now coming the drying of the coding. Yeah. So here also the sustainability aspect and you ask me how we help. So it is extremely important to have the right coding technology but also to have efficient coding techno uh, technology because you can use a lot of energy, you need a lot of energy for drying. If your dryers are more efficient, you need less energy for the same output and you help sustainability. That really makes sense. Absolutely. Yeah. One personal question, you are, uh, you've are you been to, with Heidelberg now for many years. 28 years. 28 years, <laughs> yeah. You started when you were 12 or something like that. <laughs> Thank yeah. you very much. No. <laughs> what, what personally drives your work in this industry? What excites you most in packaging industry? I think, honestly, I thought about that question and it is something, packaging is applying almost all your senses. I mean, yeah. feeling, seeing, uh, uh, touching. I mean, I think from that point of view, it is an exciting industry and it is an extremely creative uh, industry. Yes. And I mean, look look at that fair, uh, look at our discussion here. I mean, you are, you are meeting so many very interesting people. It's also kind of a, sorry to say, social event without Facebook, without all <laughs> the social media, you are coming together and you have the feeling that in particular with this sustainability discussion, you help the world to get better. That sounds big, but in the end that happens yeah, day by day. It's the truth. Absolutely. Really, really. And that fascinates me, yeah. to be honest. Thank you for these words. Yeah, thank you very much. So we all have to come to, to the Fachpark, of course. Absolutely. To your booth and uh, to widen in the Oberpfalz. I mean, um, maybe I can also say we have in our print of home Home of print, sorry. Uh, in our home of print, <laughs> yeah, in Wiesloch, we have uh, the biggest showroom. Yeah. And there we have really our powerhouse. Okay. And our customers are always invited to come to the home of print in Wiesloch. We have the test machine in Weiden and we have the demo machine in our home of print. Yeah. And customers are invited you, to visit how, us. How do you explain to international customers uh, where is Wiesloch? We just Frankfurt. say, honestly, we just say, so first approach is, we are close to Heidelberg. Okay, where's Heidelberg? Yeah. And I said, Seven kilo, 70 kilometers south of Frankfurt. Okay, we know where it is. So I would, the feeling is, in particular with the Americans, they know better where Frankfurt is compared to Berlin. 
uh, I'm sorry yeah, to say, but yeah. it's the airport. Yeah, I mean, yeah, of course. The main airport in Germany is Frankfurt. Yeah, and not Berlin. We all knew Absolutely. of all the problems they had exactly. there. Exactly. Yeah, but that's a regional uh, topic. Exactly. Okay, thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Very, thank very you for having me. Very inspiring and uh, all the best for you at Fachpark and thank you very much. in the home of print and in the Oberpfalz. Exactly. Thank you very much. <laughs> Felix Muller.